Final discussion of uh, David Kurtzer's book, uh, The Pope uh, and uh, Mussolini. And the book focuses on these two men who, in <clears throat> most ways, couldn't be more different. Uh, Pius XI was, they had spent his life really as a church librarian, scholarly, devout, um, studious, although he had a temper, but that's uh, one similarity. But otherwise, Mussolini, much younger man, he was 39 when he came to power in 1922. Uh, of course, was this violent bully and had spent his life as an anti-cleric, most of his life as a left-wing socialist, of course, before uh, making this transition around the time of the First World War to found his fascist <laughs> movement. When I heard in 2002, it was announced by the then Pope, John Paul II, that he was authorizing the opening of the archives for this period, this papacy, uh, I got quite excited. I thought that finally some of these controversies might uh, be settled, or at least settled in the sense that we would uh, feel we had good answers. Uh, this evening, which again focuses, in, focuses excuse me, on a mesmerizing story, but as its subtitle suggests, again brings to bear uh, a narrative, a gripping narrative, uh, of a single relationship, albeit this time of two very powerful men to shed light on a much larger topic, namely uh, the rise of fascism in 20th century Europe. This is because the Vatican was deeply infiltrated by fascist police spies. And they were taking daily records, you know, taking notes on what people were doing, what they were saying. Uh, they, had a, they drew a very um, detailed picture of interrelations between people, uh, character descriptions, and I believe also you were able on that basis to even transcribe some of the conversations that were going on, mm -hmm. right? As a result, the church must now live with its pre-Vatican II <clears throat> legacy of appeasement, accommodation, and silence. In chronicalizing and analyzing this legacy, the results of which reflect the church's own anti-Semitic conduct over the centuries. Professor Kurtzer provides Christianity, especially the largest church of Christianity, a great step to self-knowledge, understanding, wisdom, and judgment. Such a step is an extraordinary step. In